Hello viewers, this is Blenzy from Beat Life Records. In today's video, I will take you through how I created a crazy trap beat in FL Studio 20. The beat has a tempo of 62. Before I begin, I will let you have a feel of the beat. So this is basically how the beat plays and let's go to the breakdown. So I started by playing this melody using Citrus and that's the name of the plugin I used. This is the plugin in FL Studio 20. So going to my piano roll, I have this melody here and it's playing in key F, F major here. Yeah. So there's the whole melody here. So it just loops around throughout the whole beat. Next then I added was this melody too and there's a filtered melody so I used purity for it and this how it plays So it has a filter effect on it that's how that's why it's sounding that weird but it gives the beat some kind of vibe so next then i added was my pads and this adds the whole emotional vibe to the beat and that's how it plays i use nexus for it So everything I've played is in Kiev. And the next thing I think I added, yeah, that's my 808 bass. Yeah. So that's the next thing I played. And this gives the, that bassy feel, like that boom feel. And that's how it sounds here. So there's the 808 and it's just so crazy yeah next thing to be played yeah uh, it's my percussion or let me see the drums
so this is it for the drums and this without a kick and i've already swung the beat so it has some few or slight offsets in it so from this section you can see i've swung the beat and i have my kick too So on top of the kick, I've placed this kind of brass hit on it. So it gives it some kind of that brass feel, like some horns playing behind the drums. And this is how the brass sounds. So when I start playing the beat, you start to hear that kind of sound in it. And I have my cymbal here. This is how it sounds. And in the playlist, I've added some kind of automations to them, like those panning automations. So they, they can play from the right ear into the left ear, or from the left ear into the right ear. It just gives it some kind of vibe. And that's basically the whole idea behind it. And one thing you should take note of is you should always try to keep your beats simple but creative. Yeah. It doesn't necessarily mean you should put in some kind of um, big plugins and some like complex stuff in a beat. You should try to keep everything simple but. It it should sound great, yeah. I also have this vocal here. Fire! And it's one it's from some of my sample packs. So I felt yeah I would need it here and I should include it in the beat. That's why I used it. Fire! So it gives the timing for the start. And that's basically all the components of the beat. So now everything together here and this what you have as the full beat here. So I'm playing it from the playlist. <laughs> 